people enjoy life. At the same time, Shiva people do their own work. And that's our motto. That's what I that's what we do. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take any more of your time. Welcome, welcome on board and please enjoy the exhibition uh, for the next few days because very eminent, may not be so eminent, but very promising young artists are all displaying their talents, their uh, fame, so to say, in this small area that we have recently created, which we are calling South Bank, where we expect that a lot of cultural activities from now on will happen because this is going to be the Flotel's cultural center. Thank you and all of you, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Manapal, I would request you to be with us here uh, because uh, now I would uh, request Mr. Jeff Renew for his welcome address. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, Namaskar. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Manopal um, and also Ms. Shubhapal for this invitation and this opportunity. Also Mr. Shudjoy Prashad Chatterjee, um, His Excellency, um, and esteemed guests and artists. It's wonderful for me to see some familiar faces already. Um, and it is truly an honor for me to be here inaugurating this exhibit, Moments. I arrived in Kolkata two months ago. I had heard that this city is the literary and artistic soul of India. Art, film, and literature flourish here. My curiosity was piqued. I came here from Manhattan, another city brimming with creativity. So I was eager to discover what this city had to offer. I have since visited several galleries and exhibits now to include this one met some very talented artists, which brings me to this point tonight with you and the theme of this exhibit, Moments. I would like to bring you into some recent moments of my own. Last week, my staff pressed me to get away from the office and take my first trip into Greater West Bengal. Their strong recommendation was that I attend the Mela in Shantaniketan. After all, Shantaniketan was home to Tagore, and now played host to Vishovaroti University and a vibrant art community. It was a central piece of the region's cultural heritage. Of course, I agreed. I know many of you will relate to my impressions of the journey. A winter ride along NH2 through fields of green farmland, tall palm trees and brick kilns. After arriving, I wandered through the university campus. There was an energetic professor expounding on something clearly very important to him, perhaps somewhat less important to his students, who seemed more than happy to be outside in the classroom in this beautiful winter weather. I was delighted to see cows wandering through an empty football field, a wonderful reminder of my parents' home in Wisconsin, also known as the Dairy State. And I had the rare opportunity to see a collection of Tagore's original paintings. For me, these were thought-provoking pastoral moments. Later that night, I attended the Mela. It felt magical and otherworldly. There were artistic installations in the trees, which were also adorned with angels' wings. Strings of lights over my head. Musical performances and the enticing smell of delicious food. But the feast was for my eyes. I saw beautiful paintings, prints, wood sculpture, ceramics. I had hoped to pick up some pieces of art, but I was carried away by discussions with students and artists who were also attending. For me, these were rich, interactive, cultural moments. The following day, I visited a group of artists and the, at the up-and-coming and up and coming young talent at the Shantani Ketan Society of Visual Art and Design, hosted by Jogen Chowdhury. The galleries were filled with beautiful art, from a representation of Nandini's wedding in green to colorful visual interpretations of how technology interacts with our biology. I was very impressed, and in fact made myself a little late returning to Calcutta, 
It appeared as though I spent more moments at the center than was allotted on my schedule. But the experience brought back fond memories of gallery walks in Brooklyn and in Manhattan. Only this gallery was near a pond and a bamboo forest. And I could not resist exploring the work of young, talented artists. For me, these were revolutionary, inspirational moments. Ladies and gentlemen, as this exhibit shows, our lives are full of moments. Moments of joy, peace, love, sadness, inspiration, and of particular importance are moments like these that bring us together. I'm happy to share my moments with you, and I sincerely hope that as you explore this beautiful exhibit, speak to the artists and enjoy this incredible facility, that you will be able to spend the evening sharing some moments together. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was a very inspiring speech by uh, Jeff. Uh, and I must say that uh, truly, uh, Manhattan, I, I love Manhattan, I believe that it is the epitome of uh, cultural happenings uh, in, in the United States. And I also would like to point out here, Jeff uh, mentioned about Nondini, Rappu uh, 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 you know, heroine, the Red Oleanders, where Nondini represents, Nondini's green represents uh, the, uh, liberation, the liberation of uh, everything from the shackles of uh, inhibition. And that's uh, what I suppose South Bank would do as a cultural center. It, uh, the, the art exhibition today itself is not just about veterans. It, it, it kind of uh, marries the veterans and the promising together. And uh, that's, that's, that's probably the moments of joy that's going to be captured on the canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to mention that uh, mm, uh, the artists who have been, uh, who've, who've been a part of uh, this uh, uh, lovely exhibition of paintings and sculptures are Jogin Choudhury, Lalu Prashad Shaw, Dhiraj Choudhury. I can see Dhiraj Shah here. It's, uh, it's a moment of pleasure and honor for us to have the Rajta. Shubhata Gangubhadda, who is also with us. Basim Kapoor, Shomir Ait, Brotin Khan, Devbrata Chakraborty, Deepti Chakraborty. Pardon my ignorance, uh, because I may not know all the names uh, on all the faces. Uh, Atin Basha, Shruti uh, Dahihande, Umaroy Choudhury, Ashok Ganguly, Sharbani Ganguly, Shutapa Khan, Pintu Pal, Raj Shekhar Ait, uh, Orunabu Karmaka, dressed in pristine white, I, I know him, Vikash Nath, uh, Devika Mukherjee, Obhijit Guho, Prabir Bhakti, Torun Purokai, and of course the photo man, Devashish Mullik, so he is essentially uh, a, a sculptor. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now uh, we move on uh, to the ceremony of the evening. Uh, may I request uh, 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 our Excellency, uh, Your Excellency Dr. Janos Terenyi, the Ambassador of Hungary, Mr. Jeff Renew, uh, some the artists who are here, and Mr. Manupal, and Mr. Rotin Lotto, uh, uh, who is the Honorary Consul of Hungary, uh, to come here and light the lamp and uh, begin the journey of moments in Calcutta at Flotel. Can we hear a big round of applause for that, please? Thank you. All the artists who are here, please come forward and Thank join you, us. Sorry. Shunilda, please come. Please, it's a moment of honor for us for having you here. Please come. Shunilda, Ashun, please. Dinajda Ashun. Shunilda, please. Shunilda, Smokers, please. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no